I can't believe we were just attacked by a squirrel. A squirrel! Progress. We're almost home! Gee! Almost here with Gale and having finally, finally gotten to the point where we can bring home another new dog. And I get attacked by a squirrel? If I die by squirrel, I'm going to be so frustrated. Oh, or a bear! A bear cub! That's a bear cub! Oh, where are you off to? Yeah, maybe we shouldn't go ahead and follow it while I'm, like, kind of wounded. But at the same time, I'm sort of curious. Is my curiosity about to get me killed? Dogs be very quiet. I'm not sure this was the best idea. Are you all alone? Where's your mom? I did not realize cubs were going to be this cute. <laughs> I probably should have packed a camera. Where's I don't mom? need to capture these moments. I'm living them. There's mom. Wait, she is that the mother? Mad. Hold very still. Let's... <gasps> oh. <gasps> she just Eskimo kissed the cub. So cute. Oh my god. Oh. I bet that's how it looks when I boop Chomper. I'm dead. Though I probably will be if I stay any longer. All right, time to run. Yes, we got to see some little bear kisses. Thanks for waiting, pups. I think we've actually seen that already on this save. All right. But still. Let's mush on. Ah. Uh. I think we're so close to home. Thankfully, we didn't have to pay bear tax just yet. And if I get attacked one more time, I will die. However, that would be technically death by squirrel. And that would be really embarrassing. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. We Okay, okay. We oh, found a moose. oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Here's a few good meals. Um, okay, I'll check it out, but... It's because, you know, I want to get all the journal pieces. However, I don't think we should be hunting this moose. Uh, okay. Uh, we're gonna leave. I'm not gonna wait for the moose to get closer. Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. I did what I was supposed to by Ready not to neglecting. Like, part of the challenge I want to do is, unless it's just something boring like a birch tree, we're going to try to investigate with our curiosity every single encounter we right, have. let's keep going. And potentially, ha! Huh, choose different outcomes that we have never done before so you know had to investigate the moose but really thinking maybe we're further away from the cabin than i thought maybe i should go ahead and Something's heal up over there oh what's that <gasps> is that the fishing rod what do we have here oh no it's not also mildly terrifying is that someone's journal can i take it the bullet will do just fine i really want that journal hey pups i wonder if you found, like, cautiously right. optimistic... Okay, now I'm actually, like, about ready to die of hunger, so... I can't believe this, but we're actually probably going Let's to need to take a break. Get some food. Heal up. We should up. be able to take care of ourselves here. Ah, oh, alright. Med pack first? Because apparently I'll be I'm okay. on the verge of death by squirrel. <sighs> Fire would be nice. And then... At least I'm well practiced in... It's not responsible of me, even if I think that we could just keep rushing things and making it home with Gale so that we could celebrate having another new dog having come and joined our group. It would be very irresponsible of me to rush into things. And Gale, you learned your lesson about rushing into things. So let's I'm have a little food. Cook some food. If I'm going to take care of them, I also need to take care of myself. There we go. And Gail, what do you think? Learned your lesson about porcupines. I'm so proud of you, Gail. Taking your time and everything. What'd you think of that porcupine? They're much cooler when you're not covered in quills, huh? Let's get you those scratches. There you go, good girl. All right, then let's go ahead and we'll feed the good dogs. Good time. Chow down, pups. We're almost home after all. There you go, guys. All right, and let's head out. I think we can actually make it. Get back on the trail? I think we're done here. Let's go. All right, guys. I feel really confident that we have learned all of Gail's story too. I'm so your true self out here. <gasps> Gail's nose is safe from porcupines. We did it, you guys. We were literally like two steps away from home, but I'm glad that we also learned our lesson. Look at that. So we've gotten one, two. Three, 
three entire new sections about the animals, which makes me really, really proud. Oh, that's fantastic. And look at Gail. We've never had her drawing before. I'm so happy. Now we just need to get Chomper and we need to get Slayer's drawings. And then we will have managed to get all of the dogs filled out in the journal. We've also covered some of the amazing natural beauty. We're just missing one of those. Three of the living off the land. Maybe two of the hanging out with the fluffy friends. A ton about bears because we already knew the cutest snoop boot. Uh, the owl. Oh, man, that owl. All right, we're going to need to learn more about the owl somehow. We haven't seen weasels. We haven't gained any information about rabbits. We need more information about moose, eagles, deer, the ox, beavers, and wolves, and squirrels, and elk, and porcupine. I think we're probably about to learn a lot about the wolves once we get Slayer with us, because if I recall correctly, that's actually related to Slayer's story. All right, now that we're back at the cabin. Any second now? Welcome home. Yes! Where's Kale's little house gonna be? I can't wait to see it. We've got so many pumps now. How's everyone doing? All right. Oh, Gail, right next to Icky. There we go. Welcome home, Gail. Good girl. No more porcupines for you. We've learned some prickly lessons, and her accessory is socks because she likes to run fast. Oh my gosh. How do they look on you? Oh, look at you, girl. She's got little front sockies on now. <laughs> All right, that's actually really cute. I love it. She likes ready to run. But all right, guys, so now we have actually gone ahead and we have managed to get Gail's story, Stilton's story. We're missing one more dog in order to round off all of the dogs that you can possibly adopt in Red Lantern. And we still need to get Mr. Chomper's story because we haven't, left it. haven't unlocked his story in the journal yet either. So let's go ahead. We've got one dog left. You're right, Chomper. You can't do this on your own. Oh, this is going to be a hard decision. All right, so we're gonna bring, how about we bring, let me think about it. I think we'll bring Finn this time and Iggy. And we'll bring Bodega. And we'll go and adopt our very oh, last hey, dog. Our next stop is here. We'll go see who they have for us. And who do we have waiting? Slayer. Uh, Slayer? I'll, uh, give you your distance. Looks like you might need some time to get to know me. I get it. Your family did say you're a bit skittish. Are you really afraid of balloons? Yeah, I've got some weird fears, too. I mean, they're totally rational. I think it's just good sense to be afraid of manhole covers. You can fall in. Bad stuff could come out. That's clearly the beginning of the end. Okay, well, that's not <laughs> exactly why I moved out here. But I don't think I have to worry about manhole covers anymore. And it sounds like you're very fast. I suppose knowing when and how to escape when you're afraid of everything is a perfectly fine skill. All right, let's see. Um, you do have to be prepared for anything to some degree. However, yeah, we'll say we're that. We're not looking to run from anything. I mean, we have to, we might, but we're here to face it all. Yeah. See what we're really made of. Yeah. Well, Slayer, what do you think? I've got a good pup with me, too. I think you'll like Look him. Look at her. Let's adopt her, you guys! If you're ready, I am too. Yes! This is so exciting to finally unite the two teams. Welcome to the van, Slayer. Team, say hi. <laughs> you're just a big sweetheart. And to feel like we have with all the pups Slayer, with us. People know not to mess with you, huh? We're on our way to our new home, and you look very much ready for the journey. You might be put in positions that are a bit scary out there. I'm not quite sure what we'll see, but that's what this adventure is for me too. I needed to know what I was actually capable of. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe we'll find our limits or manage. You know what? I, I think we'll manage. I don't think you can always know you're ready because it would be a failure of the imagination to say you would always know that you're ready. If I have discovered anything, it's over my years of living. It's that things change and new things come to existence. That's just the nature of life to keep evolving and to keep having even just like culture and, and technology change. So I don't know if you could ever say that you'd be ready for everything. 
And I don't really want to find our limits because I always think how distressing that would be if you found a limit that you couldn't surpass. So instead, I want to think that we'll manage to make it always part of an ever-growing adventure. We'll have to find our balance. Strike when we need to, and more importantly, know when to run. And I think you'll find you're stronger than you expect. You ready to help us train? You're in charge. All right, we've got this. Slayer's ready to stretch I'm your going legs, back you in guys. Position. Yes, I'm feeling good about this. We have such an experienced team. How can we not make it when we've got so much stuff? In fact, do we have some extra leftover birch from last time? Because I feel like we've got a lot more stuff than we usually start with, but oh, that's probably because we gained a little bit more life experience. Excellent. You know what, this time, let's try going oh, no. south. Jane. Jane. And we'll see what things happen when we go to the south. But if I remember correctly, Slayer does end up running into a lot of wolves. So this is probably about to get up to be a pretty wild. Looks like we found some birch trees. Mm, that's the one thing I will let myself pass. On by. We do need to focus on finding a lot of food after all. But yeah, I will let myself go ahead and pass on birch trees. But otherwise, our commitment to curiosity and filling out everything we can in those journals means we need to investigate every corner. And if we run into familiar scenarios, try doing something different. Looks oh, like we've yes. got a chance at a meal, pups. I don't think we've learned a lot about deer yet. Other than, you know, Stay quiet. sometimes they can Just freeze in place. Calm. You've got this. All right. And... Oh, oh go God. down, friend. I only injured it. I'm sorry. Um... One more should do the trick, as long as I don't miss. You can't leave it injured. You can do this. All right, all right, all right. That's Sorry. That's what we needed. I'll collect what I can and get back to the sled. Noted. So, deer provide us with four meat. Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. Some versus, you know, only having, or versus five. Three bullets left. From the caribou and from the elk. Let's be safe out there. All right, let's go, guys. Sorry, dear. I just know we won't make it unless we do a little bit of hunting on the way. It uses up so much energy for our dogs to be able to, you know, pull us through the wilderness like this. Oh, now what? G! G! And like I said, I'm sure that we must be independently wealthy if we're able to support this many dogs. So I can only imagine that we'll make a lot of donations to preserve some of the natural you area. You can't see anything out there. Wait, what? What do you pups see? Is it over there? What's going on? <gasps> Whoa! You're not a ghost. Oh, right? that surprised me! I wonder how many of you there are. Mm, I'm absolutely not hunting this. That's not happening. Wait, no, no, stop! Dang it! Oh! Dang it! Oh. Yep. I didn't feel great. Good thing we found some med packs. Okay, I'm coming, pups, just... But slowly. How? I can't believe we got so severely okay, injured back. so soon. <laughs> All right, Let's is that shopping. a bad omen? Uh, like Slayer already has received a bit of a bad omen for her adoption run, and I feel badly Desert about her, about that. Animals don't seem quite as majestic when they're getting their revenge. Uh, I, I blame them for chasing me down. Can you be a snowy vegetarian? Deer seem to manage. Well, and that was something new to learn. I could have gone without getting, like, run over by the majestic moose. This looks pretty good. All right, all right. Well, let's go ahead and heal ourselves up a little bit. Because that was a bit ridiculous. I shouldn't have risked it. <sighs> <sighs> Everybody doing good? Sorry about that, guys. That startled me, too. Trust good time. me. Chow down, pups. We're not super tired, so let's go ahead and fuel up a little bit. And then once I catch my breath and, oh, I looked for Stilton and he's not there. <laughs> All right, I actually really nice. miss having Stilton. At least I'm well practiced in fire starting. And we'll go ahead and we will give Slayer ready to cook. a few pets as well. There we go. But, oh, all right, guys. A little bit of an ill omen to starting the adoption run, but. Ah, oh, come here, buddy. I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. 
<laughs> so if you guys could do please leave a like for Slayer now coming to join the family as the very last of the dogs we needed to adopt to complete having all of the dogs back at our home with the Red Lantern. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.